What's going on guys, Jens Chris here, here to do a gaming test on the HTC One S. Now this is the Taiwan version, so that means you have the 1.7 GHz processor. So we're going to be testing three different games. So first, we'll be testing the Riptide GP, followed by Dead Trigger, and last but not the least, the Batman The Dark Knight Rise. Alright, so we'll just see if we've closed up everything. So, alright, we'll just close everything up. And we'll load up the Riptide first. So really, really quick load up over there. And the sound quality on this is really amazing thanks to that Beats Audio feature. So really, really great feature from HTC. Alright, so we'll just quickly load this up. Now this is one of the best games to test the device. Alright. Now you can do different tricks with this. Now I'll try and play this as best as I can because it's pretty hard while I'm recording. So we'll see how I go with this. Really, really nice, re uh, smooth refresh rate. Now you can even turn on this, uh, you can do different tricks, really fun game, nice graphics, so smooth, no lag whatsoever. Alright, and we're almost done, in the second lap. Oh, it just crashed. Alright, so that's that one. Uh, that's Riptide GP. Really, really nice game. Go ahead and try this out. And now we're going to be loading up the Dead Trigger. Really quick load up over there again. Really happy so far with this uh, smartphone by HTC. Even though this is only uh, running dual core, but the 1.7 GHz just really, really helping a lot. Alright, we'll just quickly go main quest. Quickly play this up as well. Alright, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. Okay, so you can see I'm moving it really, really, really smooth. Alright. Now this is actually a Tegra 3 game, so... Now this is like one of my favorite games. I know I always use this when I'm demoing or testing the, the game. It's so good. Alright. Well, that's the first mission and we are done. Now we'll try another one. Slow that up and should take us to the next uh, level or mission. Alright, we'll just close it. Completed. Okay, close it again. Alright. Now go bank. Main quest. Alright. Alright, the next one. <clears throat> nice graphics. Let me, if I move that closer. Alright, here we go. 
one first enemy over there. Lucky person to die first. <laughs> Alright, so there you go, that's um, the dead trigger on the 1S. And now, last but not the least, the Batman. Now, I tried to use all the um, games that are really high on graphics, so just to give you the best uh, possible tests as I can. So, nice graphics, as you can see. Now, Batman. Continue. Oh, crap. Let me just go back. Continue. Just wait for this to load. Now this is a Tegra 3 uh, game as well. Oh, sorry, no, it's Game Loft. So now on Tegra 3, it didn't really work as good. I played it on the Nexus 7. I made a video about it, and it wasn't the best, but it was too. It was fine. It was okay. There was a few lag at some point, but we'll see on this one. Right, we'll just wait for it to load now this 1.8 gigabytes of size so it's a pretty big game give you a closer look on the graphics there we go really really smooth as well As I move around, right. Alright, he's done. Okay, we'll do this one more time. Alright. So we'll just do that one more time. And all right, where is he? All right. All right. So there we go. That's Batman on the. HTC One S, as you can see, it went really, really smooth. No lag whatsoever. All right, so there you go, guys. That is the gaming test on the HTC One S. Make sure you like this video and subscribe, and don't forget to enter my competition. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, Jens Garcia here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.